everyone welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would do a different type of video um, I plan on showing you like the basic brushes you would need for beginners I go through brushes you'd need for foundation application bronzer blush um, eyeshadow brushes that I would consider that are essential in your makeup kit to provide you with a flawless makeup finish so let's start with eye brushes um, with eyeshadow, I definitely recommend you having blending brushes in your kit. So a few blending brushes I recommend are big fluffy ones like these. So I got these off eBay. I think I typed in blending brush. It's like a dupe for like the MAC 217. So if you just search these up on eBay, I think you'll find them. I like them because they are big and fluffy and they're tapered at the top. So they make blending out your eyeshadow really easy. Um, you just have to do circular motions and it basically blends it out for you. The blending brushes I recommend are smaller ones. These would be good for blending out your crease color or your outer corner so it fits right in that socket area if you have like a small eye like myself. Um, this could fit right in there and you could blend out your eyeshadows a lot easier. Whereas compared to this, this is like more for a bigger space, this is for a smaller space and more precise. Um, this is probably like a big blending brush so when you finish your crease colour, you can just blend everything out easily because it's so big. This is the Sigma E40. So it just looks like that. Inside blending brushes, I definitely recommend a good pencil brush. These are good for smudging colour um, in your lower lash line or darkening up the crease with a darker colour. Because it's so pointed, it can give you a precise application. With concealer under your eyes, these brushes by Jessup. So J-E-S-S-U-P, if you just type those into eBay, you'll find a bunch come up. Um, these are really good for the price. I think I got a pack of eye brushes and face brushes for like $13-$15. I really like these for concealer, um, as you can see, there's a round top one, there's an angled one and a pointed one. I really like this for concealer, like I said, um, they fit easily in your eye area and they are dense enough to blend it out, but not too dense that it leaves it streaky. So I definitely recommend these for concealer under your eyes. With foundation brushes, there are so many you can choose from. I think the most standard is the foundation paddle brush. Just this one here. I personally don't really like this brush. I find that it applies foundation very streaky if you're not careful. Because of the um, brush, you basically like a paintbrush. You're painting on your foundation. And I feel like it leaves it streaky because you can't really blend in your foundation properly into your skin. So what I prefer over the paddle brush are Kabuki brushes. I have three from different brands. Here are three that I recommend. This is by Sedona Lace. It's the FB07. So it's that one there. It's just a flat top dense brush. These are really good for buffing your foundation. You can stipple it on. You've seen me use this a bunch of times. You can stipple your foundation on, blend it into your skin to make sure it's not streaky at all. Another brand that does them is the Sigma. Um, sorry, not Sigma. Well, Sigma does have it too. It's the Flat Top Kabuki, the F F40. I might be wrong. No, not F40. And that does them is Exo Beauty by Shannon here on YouTube. We've probably all heard of her brand. This is the flat top face brush. It's another dense top um, kabuki brush or foundation. It's the same as this one. I actually prefer this one over this only because this I find it's not dense enough and it kind of makes it streaky on your face. But if you want a good cheap alternative, this one I would recommend. You just have to work a bit harder to make sure that your foundation is even. Another brand that does uh, the Kabuki foundation brushes is Jessup, like the ones I told you I got on eBay. These are the pink ones. This is the round top Kabuki, I believe, but if you buy it in the set, 
you get four face kabuki brushes and the four um, concealer brushes. So yes, definitely recommend this brand. Okay, so with contouring, I have a few options for you to choose from. Um, if you want a really precise, strong contour, these brushes would give you the best because of the way they are shaped. So they are like this. So when you put it on your face, you can just chisel out your cheekbones. And this is the NARS Ida brush. So it is expensive, but honestly, if you type in on eBay like contouring brush, I think you can find dupes for the NARS brush. It's uh, The hairs are arranged in a line, so therefore it's fluffy enough for you to blend it out. It won't leave you with that harsh contour. This is the Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush. It is like this one, however... It is a lot more dense and not as fluffy. This I find that it leaves you with quite a harsh contour. So you have to be careful in making sure that you blend it out so it's not just a line. But yes, so that's the Zoeva brush. It looks just like that. Another type of brush that I definitely recommend you having in your kit are stipple brushes or duo fiber brushes. I have three from different brands here. So this one is just an Asian brand, it's Misha, I believe. So with these, you have two types of fibers. You have the um, synthetic bristle hairs, and then you have the natural bristle hairs. Because you have the two types, it makes blending out really easy. So you can use this for creams, powders, liquids. You can use this for a lot of things, not just for foundation. The one I have is by Real Technique. And the other one I have is the Sigma F50. Using these for liquid foundation, it will give you an airbrush finish because these hairs here, they blend it out very lightly. So use these for powders, you know, setting your face, which is I, what I use them for. I use them for powders to set my face. You could also use these to blend out your contour and powders. So after you've applied your contour, your bronzer, your blush, you could just take one of these and just blend it out so it's not too harsh. And another Kabuki brush I definitely recommend is this. It is the Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush. So it's Kabuki you could use for powders or liquids. You can use this for foundation, but what it's good for what it's good for is concealer because because it fits under your eye you could pat in the concealer and blend it in very easily um, Sigma does this so it's this brush by Sigma and then also if you type in the just set brushes on eBay you could find the same brand with their set of four that you can get as well with highlighting um, the most famous highlighting brush is the fan brush I personally don't really like this brush for highlighter only because the hair the hairs I don't know if you can see they're so spaced out that I feel like when you put it on if your bronzer sorry not your bronzer if your highlighter is a little bit chunky or the hairs will pick up all the chunks and it'll leave your highlight kind of chunky on your face so what I prefer over the fan brush is one of these little brushes this is the Real Techniques Small Duo Fiber Brush. Any small brush, you could just dab into your highlight and just put it on the highest points of your face and blend it in. Because it's so small, you could easily blend it in without getting it everywhere, whereas this brush, I feel like it's not precise. Well, I mean, if, if it works for you, it works for you. It's just, just what I have found. I personally prefer to use these brushes for my highlighter. Now on to eyebrows, um, there's so many eyebrow brushes you can get out there. I have two here, so one is a denser, fluffier, thicker brush. The other one is a more thin and precise one. This is the Sedona Lace EB27. So it's very thin and it's a double sided brush, so on the end it has a spoolie as well. This brush is so amazing. Um, it's thin so it can draw your eyebrows on very precisely but it's not too stiff that it leaves you the harsh line so the hairs make it very easy to blend out the product in your eyebrows um, in everyone's kit I definitely recommend a spoolie so the brush to like 
comb out your eyebrows if there's any products still left in them or before you fill them in this actually does make the process of filling in your eyebrows a lot easier um, if you can't get it in a brush you can always get it in like they, they, a lot of companies sell eyebrow pencils that come with a spoolie on the other end so this is Anastasia Brow Wiz so it's just the pencil one end is the actual crayon you use to fill in your brow and the other end is this spoolie. This is actually what I used to fill my eyebrows today. This is the color chocolate, but because my hair isn't as warm, I went in and put in a grayish powder after I filled in with this. I really like this too. The last tool and the most famous tool everyone knows in makeup, in the makeup industry is the sponge. Mine's a bit dirty, I'm sorry, I just used it to bake my face today. Um, so it's just like this. This is currently dry at the moment. When it is wet though, it will expand. When it's wet, you wring it out so it's moist and then you can use it for foundation. Um, I feel like this gives a good coverage. It's not as full coverage as using a kabuki brush though because it shears out the foundation. But because of that, it doesn't make your foundation cakey. Um, another good tool you can use this for is concealer to get in your eyes or I like to use my sponge dry to bake my face because I feel like if it's wet it kind of sticks to the powder too much so I use it dry just to dab into my loose powder and then set my concealers and that way I can leave it on for a few minutes and then brush it off and like it's flawless. I'll see if I can show you a close up of my face right now. So this is a close up of my face right now, um, I'm not sure if you can see but I've tried to bake my face so that the concealer under my eyes doesn't crease and it doesn't provide you with all the creasing and it doesn't settle into your wrinkles so I think it does a really good job at this so if you haven't tried the dry beauty sponge to bake your face I definitely recommend it. So that concludes my video guys, um, I hope you found this helpful. I'm not too sure if I skipped through anything, but I went through the main brushes that I would consider that are essential in your kit, especially for beginners. This isn't all the brushes, you know, like, say for example, one brush isn't meant for just one purpose. Makeup has no rules, guys. Basically, use any brush for multiple purposes. You don't have to be like, oh, this is only for foundation or this is only for eyeshadow. Like, I mean, sometimes I have used my eyeshadow brushes to set, like, my concealer. Like... Makeup has no rules. If it works for you, it works for you. What worked for me might not work for you either. So this is just a guide to the brushes that I believe are important to me and that I probably couldn't live without if I didn't have in my kit. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.